Jingle Dancer by Cynthia Smith, illustrated by Cornelius Wright and Ying Hua Hu. Tink, 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 sang cone-shaped jingles sewn to Grandma Wolf's dress. Every Grandma's bounce step brought clattering tinks as light blurred silver against jingles of tin. Jenna daydreamed at the kitchen table, tasting honey on fry bread, her heart beating to the brum, brum, brum of the powwow drum. As Moon kissed Sun goodnight, Jenna shifted her head on Grandma Wolf's shoulder. I want to jingle dance too. Next powwow, you could dance, girls, Grandma Wolf answered. But we don't have enough time to mail order tins for rolling jingles. Again and again, Jenna watched a videotape of Grandma Wolf jingle dancing. When Grandma bounce stepped on TV, Jenna bounce stepped on family room carpet. But Jenna's dress would not be able to sing. It needed four rows of jingles. As sun fetched morning, Jenna danced east to Great Aunt Sis's porch. Jenna's bounce steps crunched autumn leaves, but her steps didn't jingle. Once again, Great Aunt Sis's Sis told Jenna a Muskogee Creek story about Bat. Although other animals had said he was too small to make a difference, Bat won a ball game by flying high and catching a ball in his teeth. Rising sunlight reached through a window pane and flashed against, what was it, hanging in Aunt Sis's bedroom? Jingles on a dress, too long quiet. May I borrow enough jingles to make a row? Jenna asked, and not wanting to take so many that Aunt Sis's dress would lose its voice. You may, Aunt Sis answered, rubbing her calves. My legs don't work so good anymore. Will you dance for me? I will, said Jenna with a kiss on Aunt Sis's cheek. Now Jenna's dress needed three more rows. So Jenna is going to collect from her family some of these jingle cones. So these are silver and gold jingle cones. And it talks about them later in the story. And uh, she's going to collect these and she's going to make her own jingle dress, which is this dress here. And she wants four rows on it. So we're going to read her story and find out how she ends up making her dress. As Sun arrived at mid-circle, Jenna skipped south to Mrs. Scott's brand new duplex. At Jenna's side, jingles clinked. Mrs. Scott led Jenna into the kitchen. Once again, Jenna rolled dough and Mrs. Scott fried it. May I borrow enough jingles to make a row? Jenna asked, not wanting to take so many that Mrs. Scott's dress would lose its voice. You may, Mrs. Scott answered, tossing flour with her apron. At powwow, I'll be busy selling fry bread and Indian tacos. Will you dance for me? I will, said, Je said Jenna with a high five. Now Jenna's dress needed two more rows. So she's collected enough jingle cones to make two rows on her dress. As sun caught a glimpse of moon, Jenna strolled west to Cousin Elizabeth's apartment. At Jenna's side, jingles clanked. Elizabeth had arrived home late from the law firm. Once again, Jenna helped Elizabeth carry in her files. May I borrow enough jingles to make a row? Jenna asked, not wanting to take so many that Elizabeth's dress would lose its voice. You may, Elizabeth answered, bur burrowing through her messy closet for her jingle dress. This weekend, I'm working on a big case and can't go to the powwow. Will you dance for me? I will, said Jenna, clasping her cousin's hands. So there's her cousin's jingle dress. <clears throat> now Jenna's dress needed one more row of jingles, but she didn't know which way to turn. As moon glowed pale, Jenna shuffled north to Grandma Wolf's. At Jenna's side, jingles sat silent. High above, clouds wavered like worried ghosts. When Jenna tugged open the door, jingles sang, tink, 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 tink. Grandma Wolf was jingle dancing on TV. Jenna breathed in every hey a ho of a powwow song. Her heart beat brum, brum, brum to the pounding of the drum. So when the dancers dance and they do their traditional dancing, the jingle cones make a sound, which is why she says tink, tink, tink. On family room carpet, beaded moccasins waited for Jenna's feet. 
She chucked off a sneaker and slipped on a moccasin that long before had danced with Grandma Wolf. Jenna knew where to find her fourth row. May I borrow enough jingles to make a row, Jenna asked, not wanting to take so many that Grandma Wolf's dress would lose its voice. You may, Grandma said with a hug. Now Jenna's dress could sing. Every night that week, Jenna helped Grandma Wolf sew on jingles and bring together the dance regalia. Every night, Jenna practiced her bounce steps. Brum, 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 brum sounded the drum at the powwow the next weekend. As light blurred silver, Jenna jingle danced for great aunt Sis, whose legs ached. So there's Jenna in her dress. She's got her rose. So I think she's got three, it looks like she's got three rows at the bottom and one at the top. For Mrs. Scott, who sold fry bread, and for Elizabeth, who worked on a big case. And for Grandma Wolf, who warmed like sun. Tink, tink, tink. So I'm just going to read you the author's note, which is a little bit of history about the dress and the regalia. In this story, Jenna is a member of the Muscogee Creek Nation and is also of Ojibwe, Chippewan, and Ashinaabe descent. She lives in a contemporary intertribal community and family in Oklahoma. Creek Nation is located in 10 counties in East Central Oklahoma and it has more than 44,000 enrolled members. The story of Bat that Great Aunt Sis retells to Jenna is a Muscogee traditional story. Ball games have been played by native peoples for many, many generations, and stories about such games between the animals and the birds have been told by people of various regions of the Americas. The home of the Ojibwe people is the Great Lakes region of the United States and Canada. Ojibwe women and other native women of Canada are often credited as the first jingle dancers, although today's graceful, dignified jingle dancers include girls and women of most native nations. A number of traditional stories explain the origin and purpose of the jingle dress, dance, and most touch on the themes of healing and prayer. Jingle dresses are usually made from fabrics and solid in color. Hundreds of jingles are sewn directly onto the dress or more often into ribbons, fabric, or tape attached to the dress. These jingles are traditionally made from the silver tin or aluminum lids of snuff cans which are rolled into cones. However, sometimes other metals are used, including gold canning lids. The jingles make a tink tink noise that is often compared to rain falling on a tin roof. In the past few years, more and more dresses have incorporated fringe and ribbon work, lace, sequins, and other details. The regalia may also include a scarf, cuffs, a bag or pouch carried in the left hand, an eagle wing or tail fan carried in the right hand, a conch or beaded belt, and boots or moccasins with leggings. Most dancers wear their hair in one braid with a feather held by a barrette or other ornament. Some dancers wear two braids to the front with barrettes. A new dancer is a cause for joy and for her family to have a small giveaway to honor her. Fine gifts are given not to the person being honored, but to others instead. The giveaway shows humility before the Creator, generosity and pride in the honoree. The number four is emphasized in Jenna's story. Many Native people believe that it is an important, even sacred number, symbolizing, for example, the four directions, four seasons, four stages of life, and four colors of man. So down at the bottom in this book, a, a glossary is included. So I'll just read some of the descriptions for those people that don't know what some of the uh, traditional um, parts of their culture are. So fry bread, a deep fried bread often topped with honey or jam. Indian taco is a taco with fry bread for a base. Toppings may include chicken, turkey, duck, hamburger, elk, or venison, along with grated cheese, lettuce, tomato, onion, chili, salsa, and sour cream. A powwow is a Native American social and spiritual event that includes dancing, drumming, singing, eating, and sometimes camping, trading, telling stories, rodeos, or other film and art shows to celebrate and preserve their traditions. 
Some are ceremonial and private in nature, while others are open to the public. Powwows are held at various times of the year, although most take place in the summer. In this story, the powwows are intertribal. Native, native peoples of many nations participate in such pan-Indian events. And the regalia is the highly valued clothing and accessories of a dancer, not to be confused with a costume. Regalia is sometimes handed down from one generation to the next. Years are often spent bringing together the various pieces, all of which are handmade. They carry spiritual significance. So that's a little bit of information about the Jingle Dancer. And this is an example of a jingle dress that we have in a kit with uh, some traditional cultural items at our library here in Fox Creek.